We've had this view which is governments are the best financers, funders, and builders of infrastructure. And the problem is that that model isn't sustainable today simply because the needs for infrastructure far outstrip government's ability to, to finance them. The government getting out of the business uh, of infrastructure is very important. Government is definitely needed because there's a lot of risk. A lot of these industries are natural monopolies and need, they need to be regulated from a pricing perspective. But delivery of infrastructure, I think the government needs to get out of it. And to get out of it, they need to create the right regulatory and, and financing framework for infrastructure. We think that a new airport that is going to target three to four million passengers is, is makes sense. And if you look at the numbers and the projections, it makes sense for us. And now what we're looking for is a partnership with the private sector to come up with a unit that is both public and private. And then that unit would work together, but with the private sector bringing in management expertise, uh, operator, airport operator expertise, and also working with government to raise financing from the private sector. Where the market can't provide, the government ought to provide. Uh, where the market can provide, um, government ought to facilitate. And I think today, a government's role ought to be to facilitate uh, critical infrastructure, to facilitate uh, long-term capital being married up with the need of society uh, to construct, maintain, and operate um, that infrastructure. And I would say the examples, if you look in Europe, uh, particularly in the UK, you look in Australia, and you look in places like Chile, um, what you do see is um, jurisdictions that have uh, disproportionately better national infrastructure, higher quality national infrastructure, uh, and as a result, I believe, um, higher potential for GDP growth um, than in countries um, who haven't taken that step.